Hey everyone, Waydot here. I want to start this video off with a massive thank you to everyone who not only watched, but liked, commented, and overall engaged with my first RS3 Iron Man video. I did not expect such a positive and helpful welcome, not only by the RS3 community, but just the RuneScape community in general. It was completely and utterly awesome. Anyway, I'm here with another progress log. Now, we need to have some honest time, some bro to bro, some real to real. So listen up. I had about 50% of this episode you are currently watching already completed before the first episode was even uploaded. I know, I'm a horrible, awful YouTuber person, but really what I'm trying to say is that in the first half of this video, I'm kind of just flying through quests and content, assuming that people wanted me to progress as fast as possible. However, after reading many of your comments and talking to quite a few of you, it seems like many of you would prefer a slower paced kind of progression series, where you get to see all the details and interesting parts of different quests and progression through RuneScape 3. So my apologies, the first half of this video is a little quick, however even now as I'm doing this intro, I think I'm only like combat level 28, and 50% of that's from Waterfall Quest anyway. Which, I mean, it's the exact same in RS3 as old school. So trust me, you guys won't be missing too much. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy the second episode to my Iron Man series, and also, check out this new intro I just made. What's up y'all? Welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed that little intro I put together. It was a lot of fun to make. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the RS3 content and you want to see more, please drop me a like to let me know. You know, it's a little risky making RS3 content these days, especially when your viewers are used to OSRS. But anyway, to start off today, I'm just going to do a ton of questing. So without further ado, let's get into it. First quest on the list is going to be Shield of Erev. Apparently you don't need a partner for this anymore. You just join both parts of the gang yourself. Alright. Shield of Air have completed. 1,200 coins in a quest point. Not too bad. Alright, I'm just quickly grabbing the Draenor Lodestone on my way to do Rune Mysteries, which is a completely different quest. Um, and the Wizard's Tower as a whole just looks completely different. I'll go show it to you guys. So there's definitely been a couple of renovations to the tower. This is unreal i can't believe how good it looks and uh check it out you can like see how close port serum is that's insane i will say the world feels much more smaller and kind of compact on here like everything is just like bunched in so close to each other it feels like it's way farther away in old school even though it's probably very similar distance or like actual walk time but yeah this wizard's tower holy let's go see what this quest is all about Okay, this is absolutely insane. This quest is freaking voice acted. Listen. This is none of your business, outsider. No, wait, I recognize you. You're the adventurer Zen you mentioned. Will you help me again? Okay. That's insane. I had no idea any of the quests were voice acted. Oh. Keep in mind, this is Rune Mysteries. Help! Do something! Get that thing away from me! So I won't lie, this quest is pretty freaking awesome so far. We're currently descending into the uh, ruins of the old wizard tower. I don't know if that means the one from OSRS or not. But uh, I also currently got a title. I got Way.RS3 The Red. So that's kind of cool. That's Rune Mysteries completed. We got some mind runes, a little bit of rune crafting XP, and a lamp as well. Overall, a super awesome quest. If there's more of these voice acted quests in the future, then I guess I'm in for quite the treat. We also ended up with this uh, pretty cool looking hat. I guess it's for magic. Um, it kind of reminds me of the big chompy bird hunting hats from OSRS. Um, let's see what this magic lamp does. 250 XP. Okay, maybe that'll give us a level. Yeah, sure did. Level 5 magic. Not bad. Uh, next up, I think we're going to do Imcatcher, which unlike OSRS, you don't have to actually go get the beads. Well, you do, but you don't have to collect them from imps wandering the world, so I think it'll be a pretty quick and simple quest. What the hell? The Alcarid Gate is gone. 
I was uh, fully prepared to pay somebody 10 GP to get in here, but I guess you don't need to anymore. The lodestone is acquired. Man, it must be nice when you get all of these. You can just teleport literally wherever, whenever. So as you can see from my inventory, I did still have to acquire the four uh, different beads, uh, but it was in a bit of a different way. Essentially, you had to make four different imps across the world throw up. Oh, at least we got the original cutscene. I mean, with updated graphics, but this is pretty similar to the same one you get in old school. And there we go. Imp catcher completed. We got uh, some magic XP and amulet of Axer accuracy and access to uh this guy's amulet shop he only sells amulets of accuracy 5k each that's uh kind of absurd we already got one for free so let's see what magic level we get now nice all the way to level 10 already i'll quickly show you guys uh our skills here looking pretty good total level 89 and a combat level of 12 i'm just gonna keep on questing i'm having fun so I'm actually heading back down here. I didn't realize, but because we completed Rune Mysteries, which is a requirement for Rune Memories, we can now start the next quest. So it just kind of added it onto my uh, list here of quests that I'm going to do. So we go back to this lady and talk to her. For every rune we make, we must bring essence here from the mine. Through icy wilderness and across pirate-infested seas. Okay, so that's Rune Memories completed. Very interesting quest. There was a lot to unpack there. There was lots of lore and uh, lots of rune crafting and rune essence kind of stuff going on. But check it out. We got uh, level 6 rune crafting from that. We also got level 12 magic. Um, we get these first tower robes, which uh, those look pretty cool. So I'm pretty sure this here is the entrance to rune span, which is essentially how you train rune crafting on here, at least efficiently, I'm pretty sure. Um, you just go around siphoning these essences and it gives you rune crafting XP and you also get points in rune span and you can use that on items so we'll be back here plenty I'm sure but uh, cool to kind of know where it is and how to get here. So I'm just heading back over to Draenor Village now. The next quest I want to do is called Stolen Hearts and apparently that replaces Prince Alley Rescue. Another one I don't actually have finished on old school because you have to go back and forth so many times and when you're region locked, that's a little difficult, but uh, yeah, I'm interested to see what this quest looks like. We'll go ahead and calm Ozen down, just because uh, he's getting a little bit too worked up here. Well, this man's is dead. Well, that was Stolen Hearts completed. Uh, I used all the XP lamps and I got uh, some HP, agility, thieving, strength, all kinds of levels. So that was a fun quest. It kind of had its own little rooftop agility course on it. Um, Let's see what we're up to next. Looks like it's a quest called Diamond in the Rough. All right, let's go do it. Oh, it looks like uh, Stolen Hearts was actually required to do this quest in the first place. So let's give it a try. All right, well, if I'm being honest here, I think I'm just about to go do a bunch more quests. So insert a quick little montage of just all the quest finished screens. And at the end, we can see what kind of stats we're looking at. That's Diamond in the Rough, completed. Witch's Potion, all done. There's Druidic Ritual and access to the Herblore skill. Edgeville Lodestone. And this one's the RD Lodestone. That's Plague City, all done. Okay, so I'm just training some fishing because I need to get a sardine to do Gertrude's cat. But if you look in my inventory here, I got the first Strange Rock at around level two fishing. And I got the second Strange Rock at level 4 fishing. Now, I don't know how common these are, but I think this was pretty, uh, pretty lucky. Am I right about that? I don't know. Someone in the comments can confirm for me. Gertrude's Cat? Death Plateau? More like All Done Plateau. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, cool. That's Wolf Whistle, and along with it is the summoning skill. Nice, so level 4 summoning. Cool. Swept away. All done. Many bowls of goulash later and we got ourselves 10 herblore. Feel free to laugh at me if I put that in a stupid skill or something, but it gives you 10 times the XP of the skill level and our highest level skill right now is 16, so I feel like I couldn't have wasted it too bad. Alrighty, and that's one piercing note completed. That was a pretty fun little murder mystery quest. Um, get some prayer XP, not bad. I'm not gonna lie, these ropes look kinda badass. I like the hood. Let the meat pie. All done. 
That's Song from the Depths done. Uh, we got the Coral Crossbow. I believe this is somehow related to QBD, which is uh, probably one of the earlier bosses that we'll ever attempt on here. I could be wrong about all this, but uh, yeah, kind of cool. Next up, Shadow over Ashdale. The cutscenes in these quests are just unreal. Sometimes. It is so cool to see. Holy shit. That's what I look like after a night of drinking. Catch you later, bucko. Nice try. You know, just another day of work. No big deal for me. There we have it. Completed. Three black pearls is one of the rewards. Huh. Speaking of Johnny Depp. Okay, I'm going to give this Broken Home quest a go. Uh, just from a quick look on the wiki, it seems uh, a bit confusing, but I'm going to try my best to figure it out. So I guess I'll have to put everything I have in this bank deposit box here, and yeah, I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay, that was probably the worst half hour to 45 minutes that I've ever spent playing this game. If I can never come into this area ever again, uh, that would be amazing. But I mean, we did finish up. I've heard there's some repeat stuff. You can come back here and do some challenges and whatnot. But <laughs> I don't know about that just yet. That was enough for me. I, I, I'm okay with not coming back here for at least a few months. I'm a little surprised to hear that the Natural Museum quiz still exists. Um, I guess uh, that'll give us 1,000 XP in Slayer and Hunter. So might as well get that done as well. All right, I think this should be completed. There it is. That's level 9 Slayer and level 9 Hunter. Always a nice thing to do on a fresh Iron Man. I kind of forgot about it. I haven't even done this on my old school account because I didn't want to waste the levels while I was in the Isolin region. But hey, there we are. We also got 28 Museum Kudos, so working towards that as well. So the next quest I want to do is Waterfall Quest. It has such good combat rewards, and honestly, guys, I tried to do Priest in Peril, and I was able to kill the Cerberus, the dog, but when I had to kill the monks inside the temple, they were just doing a number on me. So I need to get some combat levels, so I think Waterfall is a good start. Okay, this is generally one of the scarier parts of the quest, at least on uh, old school. We'll see how it uh, holds up on this one. Alright, I got two of the amulets. It says on the wiki to grab two of them, so that's just what I did. Alright, I believe that's everything I need from there. It's kind of funny doing um, all these new requests with voice acting and crazy cutscenes, and then you go back and do waterfall quests, and it's just the most simple, uh, obvious couple of text boxes here and there, and then you're done. All right, and now, if my calculations are correct, we use this on this. Bada boom, bada bing, there it is. 13,000 attack and strength XP. Two gold bars, two diamonds, 40 mithril seeds, and obviously access to this dungeon. That brings us to level 30 attack and level 31 strength. Um, I probably get a bunch of skills and stuff for that. It looks like I do. And let's see attack here. We can now use Kratonite weaponry in Daemonheim and Mithril. Not Adamant. Mithril. Alright, well get ready for me to show some incompetence here. But I uh, went and bought myself a Mithril longsword, okay? Now I know these stupid monks to do Priest in Peril are actually, they're weak to range. But if we take a look at my levels here, I only have level 5 range. So I'm hoping that my 30 attack and strength and my newly acquired Mithril Longsword uh, will hopefully be able to get the job done. But we'll go test it out and we'll see. And there we have it. Priest in Peril is done. I won't lie, that was a lot easier this time around. Uh, we got a 1400 XP prayer lamp. That's not bad. Let's see uh, what level we get to. 16. Okay, four whole prayer levels. I guess I'm going to go through because I need to get the Canifus Lodestone. Is that the Slayer Tower? Wow, that looks so badass. Here's the Canifus Lodestone. That's a nice one to have, being able to just teleport here. So, a lot of people have been telling me that I need to look into dailies. If you take a look here, um, I'll be honest, I have no clue how many of these work, but here's kind of the full list of them. Some of them reset every day or every few days, and others are monthly. Um, it's going to be quite the learning process for me to first off remember to even do these when I can, 
And secondly, to actually figure out which ones are important, which ones give the best rewards, and everything like that. But I am excited to kind of jump into these and see how they work. If you take a look at the bottom here, I have all kinds of ones that I can't even do yet just because they're locked. Um, and some of them are gold and some are red. I don't quite know the difference yet. But I have heard that some of these are super important to get done, like Troll Invasion and God Statues. I've both heard about these, so I'm going to take a look into the God Statues, I think, and we'll see if we can get to work on that. <laughs> okay, uh, this is kind of funny. I just spent, you know, a good two minutes Googling uh, where I should go to start this whole God Statue thing. And uh, right there, actually. Yeah, right beside me. Literally six, seven steps away. That's That's amazing. So there's actually five statues in the game, um, and I don't have access to all of them. Um, some of them are in areas that I won't have access to yet, but each uh, area has its own god that you need to make the statue into. This one here is for Krill, Zamrock. All right, let's see how this works. I have no idea. We'll need to use all 18 pieces of scaffolding. Okay. I've used five of 18. Highest one, lowest one. So I think how it works is uh, it tells you how many of them should be at the highest and how many should be at the lowest and then you kind of just randomly click through these and then he turned green. So I'm gonna assume that this is done if I click this. Oh, the first column. Second column is too high. Okay, so it's a bit of a trial and error thing. Alright, there we go. I'm about 99% sure this is right. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, sweet. Look at this. We are building a way. Is this Dobby the Hell Self? I don't know why I've made a Harry Potter reference in each episode of this series so far, but uh, sometimes I just can't help myself. I absolutely love that series. Alrighty, well I think that's completed. I got 265 construction XP. So we got to level 3 construction, and then you can pray at this statue for some prayer XP. 559, that took us to level 18 prayer. And I'm pretty sure there's another three or four of these that we could go do, so I guess I'm going to go work on those ones. So the next one is just located by the Chicken Coop in Lumbridge. Uh, shout out Nine Rain if you guys ever uh, watched his series on One Kick Rick and his ultimate Iron Man locked only to the Lumbridge Chicken Coop. It might be one of the best series for RuneScape I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, let's get to work on this. Alrighty, that's level 6 construction. Go ahead and pray at this one as well. And level 19 prayer. On to the next one. That's the one in Taverly completed. And I got to prayer level 20. Also, apparently you can build the wrong statue here. And a minion of that god will come out and attack you. And when you kill that monster, instead of getting prayer XP, you'll actually gain slayer XP. I'm not sure if one is better than the other, but I think I'm going to try building the wrong... Uh, statue at the next one. So the next one's just down here in Yanil, Yanil, whatever you want to call it. So I'm just quickly grabbing the lodestone uh, since we had to come down here anyway. See, it shows the three wrong ones. Those will give me Slayer XP if I pick those. Um, so I'm just gonna pick Zilyana because this is supposed to be Grardor. So I got 600 uh, construction XP for doing this one. That got us all the way to 12 construction. This is the last statue that I can actually do. The next one will be unlocked in Priftinus. But now I think if I pray at this, it will uh, summon the fanatic that I have to kill. Ah, yes. Bandosian Brawler. He's level 4, so... Okay, let's see. 308 Slayer XP. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, I think in the future, I'm probably always going to use the prayer XP, just because I'm assuming that prayer levels are a bit more valuable to an Iron Man. Uh, Slayer is going to be something that I'm going to be training forever, and it's my favorite skill, so uh, I don't see myself wanting to get extra Slayer XP. So I'll probably al always use these on prayer, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys what can happen. You can pick either or. Anyway, that's our first uh, dailies done on the account. Well, technically a monthly. Uh, I'm pretty sure these statues are available on the first of every month. So uh, right now it's the 16th of May, so we'll actually be able to do these again just in a couple of weeks here. But, you know, a lot of people have a problem with dailies and MMOs, um, especially if there's an excess of them. But I've never really had an issue. I don't know if you guys played Lost Ark at all, but the daily grind on there makes RuneScape's dailies look like child's play. And of course they can be cumbersome and annoying, but they make for great catch-up mechanics and they allow for a game to reward you, even if, you know, you only have a little bit of time to log in. Okay, so next up I want to do Troll Invasion. 
It says, uh, help defend Berthorp from the troll invasion. It's a timed game. Uh, you can uh, participate by speaking with Captain Jute outside the castle's west wall. So that's got to be over here, maybe? It's Jute. There he is. Start repairing or start fighting? Let's find out. Alright, so it seems like you have two options here. You can essentially either do combat or you can defend. Um, and defending is using more skilling kind of things. Since my combat level is still kind of on the lower side, I think we're going to go with the uh, skilling defense. The ballista was destroyed. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea how to repair the ballista, but uh, maybe I can figure that out. Oh, that's the ballista up there. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, climb wall. Okay. Oh, that's a cool animation. Nice. Fill oil drum. Oh, that's what the bucket's down there. Gotcha. Oh, a fire making level. Huh. Okay. That's kind of cool. Climb this wall. I got to repair these barricades. And I don't know how to fix... Oh. That right there is how you fix the walls. Okay. I guess we finished. I'm not sure why I finished, but... uh. We aided in killing 340 trolls. Well done. And then you get this uh, XP reward book. So I'm going to put it in Herblor. Uh, it's kind of been my choice for uh, Iron Man XP you get from other resources. So that got us a Herblor level. But I mean, on top of that, we got construction, crafting, fire making. Um, yeah, that was a, kind of a fun mini game. Uh, I'm interested to try the combat version sometime. Currently, our total level is 247. We have 33 quest points, 2 strange rocks from fishing, and even a head start on some of the dailies that I'm going to have to learn all about. I want to say a massive thank you once again to the reception of the first video. At the time of me recording this outro, we are currently sitting at 14,000 views, and I also gained over 700 subscribers. Thank you to each and every one of you. But anyway, I'm still absolutely loving RuneScape 3. I feel like I'm still so new to this game and I'm just slowly learning. It's going to be a little bit nicer once I kind of feel like I have a better idea of what I should be doing. Right now it's all a little up in the air, but next episode expect some more questing and I might even pick a random skill I want to try and train to 99 first. If you guys have any suggestions I'd be more than happy to hear them. Anyway, I will catch you all in the next one. Later.